Hello everyone and welcome back to My Scrappy Ideas. This is Tina Gale and today I'm working with a sketch from Laura Whitaker and this is for one of Jen Box's fun kit um, challenges on her Facebook page. And so I'm using the Amy Tan Rise and Shine, which was the collection that she chose last month to use. And I'm just running a little behind getting all my videos edited and everything. So it's just now coming up. And so I picked out these papers. And like I said, most the the three larger sheets are from the Amy Tan Rise and Shine. And then I have a little piece from the Crate Paper Journey line. And then a little scrap, that turquoise paper is from the open book collection, I believe, Maggie Holmes. Um, so it was just some scraps that I had. So primarily all of it is the rise and shine. And I'm just cutting um, some of the papers up just to follow the sketch. And I pretty much followed the sketch exactly, except for I'm going to cut my paper down and uh apply it onto some white cardstock and so you'll see that a little bit later but other than that I think I pretty much followed this the sketch fairly closely other than when you get to the embellishments of course and then it just kind of um, is a little bit different because you just take your own interpretation so this turquoise piece I just wanted to make a little tag out of it and so I just cut a rectangle and cornered the edges and then I'll punch a hole and then I was trying to decide for the scalloped piece at the bottom whether I wanted to do my large scalloped punch or punch some large circles and make my own. And I decided I wanted to do the circles and overlap them just for some texture because in the beginning my plans and stuff it was like I really didn't have a lot going on. It was mostly paper and so I wanted to add a little bit of texture. And I ended up getting quite a bit through my embellishments but I still really like um, the way that the circles work. And so now I'm just kind of laying it on there to see whether I have my pieces cut the sizes that I want. And I'm happy with them. So I'm going to go on and the sketch just shows circles in the layout. And I have all of these doodle bug doilies that need to be used. And so I just pulled out different ones that would match the paper line. And I really liked this black behind it because it kind of emphasized the tires on the car. But I knew I'd have to pull black into the other places and I really didn't want to go and do that. So I ended up choosing the white doily just to go behind it and I'll end up cutting it and splitting it to go apart. Then I have these um, stickers here and they are from, let's see, uh, I'm going blank. They're some of my newer stash. They're Amy Tan, and I believe they're called Remarks, but they're just kind of epoxy bubble stickers. Um, so I wanted to use some of those up. The colors match in since it's from the same artist. And I just picked out a couple to put at the bottom and on, along the top to mimic in the sketch the circles that were on there. Then I have these cork stickers, and they're from the Crepe Paper Journey line as well. And I picked out a few for my title and just so that I have a different texture on my layout and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and use those. And this is where I decided to go ahead and mat this on my white cardstock. So I'm only taking maybe a quarter to a half inch off two sides of my paper because I'm not going to center it on my white cardstock. I'm going to just have the top and the left side exposed on the white cardstock so I'm, I'm just pulling it down to the bottom right corner if that makes sense and then I'm just taking my black ink and I wanted to go ahead and edge all of my pieces and stuff with black since the photo is uh, kind of a darker photo this is a photo of my new car when I got it of course I've had it for a little bit now um, so I just wanted to document uh, my new car and how happy it made me when I got it and how much I love it and I still love it Makes me happy every time I get into it. So now I'm just going ahead and inking all the other edges of the paper that I cut. And this is a great design because it's not using a lot of paper, but yet you're getting the look of all the different papers in this paper collection and all the bright colors without it being overwhelming. So I really like it. And I love this background paper. It's just this ledger in the kind of a teal color. 
and then with the pops of colors with the feathers at the bottom. So these papers like this are perfect background paper. And you'll notice here lately I've had a lot of layouts um, that have these printed uh, elements on the paper and stuff and incorporating them. Well, actually, I've had a couple that have been on my blog, but I've not done process videos for. So if you follow my blog, then you've seen a lot of different layouts with those. Okay, so I've kind of got all that adhered down, and now I'm just going to ink the edges of the circles, and I'm going to start putting those down. And I'm going to start on the right-hand side. Um, I know where I want it to go there, and I want to make sure that I have enough to go all the way across as far as it as I want. And so I'm just going to adhere um, the first one down, and then when I adhere the rest, I'm just tucking them under just a little bit, kind of the way you see them laying here. And I guess I'm going to do that. I thought I was going to glue those on right there. So I guess I'm just sitting there thinking and thinking and thinking when this is pretty much the way the layout's going to be. Um, so maybe I'm still thinking about the embellishments, not sure where I was going to go with the embellishments and decided to wait. So if you followed my haul video, you saw that I added some inks to my order this month and I'm already putting them into good use. So this is the teal from the Heidi Swap Color Shine Collection. And I'm just putting some on there. And at first it was really bright and I was starting to get kind of concerned because I'm not really a bright scrapbooker. But you'll notice in the still shots at the very, very end that it fades out and it's really gorgeous. I really, really like it. So everybody that gave me a heads up and told me their top picks and this teal and the gold were the two of the top color choices that I was recommended. Thank you, thank you, thank you, because I love both of them. And so I had the teal, and then I decided I wanted just a touch of the gold, because um, I'm going to have just a few little gold accents, and I thought it would just give a pop to this layout. So on the gold, I wanted some of the bigger droplets, and not quite as many, so you'll notice that there's quite a bit. Um, or not quite a bit, but uh, the droplets are a lot bigger. So I'm getting a little bit better with using the inks and not minding the mess so much. So I had to clean up my mess and um, let it dry a little bit. Now I'm ready to put those circles down. Um, so as you'll see, I'm just tucking just a little bit underneath the other circles. See, I'm obsessed with cleaning all the ink off because I will have it all over my layout every time. That's why I don't mess with inks. I just ruin layouts. <laughs> So, okay, I'm just tucking them in, and I'm not putting a lot of adhesive. I want them kind of loose and um, where they kind of pop up. So I've went ahead and adhered the doilies and all of that, and like I said, before I cut part of the doily off, I did a third and two-thirds and popped it off the top and the bottom to mimic the sketch. And then I'm just trying to work out what my layout's going to be. I knew I wanted to use that journey. And then I found the love on the cork shapes and I decided I would do that. And then I'm going to add some letter stickers and I'm going to apologize because part of this gets cut off on the end. I've been doing so much videoing that I keep running out of space on my iPad and I don't realize it because I can't see the, the taping and it doesn't make a noise or anything when it goes off. But I get almost to the end and then I have still shots. I pretty much have everything done. I'm just just that last little bit of, of tweaking when it shuts off. And so I had the feather e epoxy sticker from Amy Tan, and I was wanting to use it, but and I liked everything, but I wanted something back behind, and so I pulled out these Amy Tan rub-ons, and I've used them before, and if you've watched my other videos, I talked about how much I loved them. They just went on like butter. Okay, so this first one that I do, I just wanted to pop this little color behind the circle epoxy. Went on really, really well. Then I'm going around and I have this cloud and I decided I want it up at the top. So I start putting it on. It didn't really want to come off. I worked quite a while. I actually cut away because it took so long and so much pressure to finally get it off. And it was just, it took a long time. So I'm thinking if you open these and you use them, you want to use them quick. I don't know if they dry out or what. And you'll notice in a little bit, I have this gold feather from off of the rub-ons. 
that I wanted to incorporate on one side of the photo or the other and I tried and I tried and I tried that was not coming off so the gold absolutely would not come off the robe on sheet so that's a complete waste so my advice is if you buy these use them quick because like I said the first couple of times I used them you could put them on with your finger there was I mean it was just so easy see that's the little gold feather and I played with uh, putting it on that side and then over on the other side but it would not come off the Revlon sheet and it may be the gold or I don't I don't know what it is but well the, the clouds weren't gold except for gold outline but it didn't want to come off either um, so that was kind of disappointing okay so I'm just putting or starting with my title there and I ended up I just have some larger alphabet stickers that says I I love the journey is what it's gonna say and let me see I don't know if I wrote down where the alphabet come from but it's just the alphabet sticker sheets that I really like and this little pink rose that I had it's from the crepe paper kiss kiss ephemera pack that I have I have tons of it left and so I thought it'd be cute just to have another little pop of pink up there and just another layer and it was flat so I stuck it up underneath the the other round epoxy sticker the the one at the bottom says you make me happy and then I'm trying to think what else let me look at my layout um, oh on those epoxy stickers one more thing that I add there's the little gold heart ones and so I added one up at the top and one towards the bottom the rub-ons that I did get to go off was there was a pinkish red heart and I used it for part of my title when I put I love I put it under the the heart up there and I put three little gold hearts on the feathers down below that were rub-ons and those went on um, they kind of split and they tore but I was able to make it work so they did come off but the feather it wouldn't um, the other thing that I added was a little cork heart. See, you can see here I did rub and rub and rub. And this is where my video is going to cut off. So I will put some still shots so that you can see all the, the other close-ups. But it's basically just a cork heart over the tag. I stamped the date and put some twine through the tag. And a little sticker from another sheet that says wish. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel on YouTube and visit me on my blog, tiggerscrapplace.blogspot.com. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you real soon. Bye.